My friends, I apologise if there is background noise today, because it is Fireworks Day. Guy Fawkes Eve, whatever they call it. Fireworks Eve. Guy Fawkes Day. I don't know. Ah! Oh! Jeez, my face went big then. Yeah. Fireworks are being set off. It's that beautiful time of the year where we just pump more nonsense into our environment just for our own amusement. What are we doing? We're great stewards of this planet, aren't we? Gah. We are knocking it out of the park. Right, I know exactly what we're doing today, so I'm going to start doing it while people tune in. Brain Boy 9 Thank you for tuning in. More Bricks 77 Richard Live. Appreciate you coming by. We are streaming at an unusual time, just because I've had uh, some stuff come up today that I wanted to do, and so it pushed back the stream. So here we are doing a late evening one. Bit of a rarity for me. Stream this late. I'm probably going to derp way more than usual. Oh no. Oh no. Late night Asuma. What have you done to us? How close to levelling up is this thing? Nowhere near. Do we even have a spare modifier? No we don't. We've got a noise in here though. We've got MLDK NR1 here for five months. Thank you so much. And... It's Jens is here for five as well. Jar1051 is here with the Prime. Thank you so much. We're listening to uh, Lena Rain and the soundtrack to Celeste. I just thought, let's give it a go. It might get claimed or whatever. Usually video game soundtracks are a little more friendly with the copyright and stuff. Here we are though, giving it a go. Seeing what That's the one block that I needed. Oh, but I need to go repair this. Uh, Ikazu says, late night stone block keeping that streak going. Yeah, let's keep the streak going, you know. You know. Let's keep it going until Christmas. I won't stream on Christmas Day, though. Or Christmas Eve, maybe. I don't know. Okay, I would like that day off. God. Give me a day off from streaming, please. I don't want to be chained to this computer every day streaming. I'm joking. Streaming is a pleasure. Why did I come back here? Now my brain remembers it was for this stuff. Probably going to make the same trip again in a minute because we need to do a lot of mining. Might not be a bad idea to use the old vein miner on the pick, but uh, that will probably backfire somehow. Green Amazing, thank you for three months. And the one, the only, it's Winnie T. Ford here for 44, saying four more months to four years. Yes. Yes, it is four more to four on the 44. How does that work? Numbers, maths, crazy. Oh, mind blown. Gosh, those fireworks are so loud. I do apologise if you can hear them. I do I do very much apologise for that background noise. It is... Oh, how inconsiderate, you know. How inconsiderate are these people to blast all these gunpowder into the atmosphere just for their own amusement? God. Okay, so these were, uh, these were like nine apart, weren't they? So it was like one, two, three... Was that... That's five. One, two, three... Uh, and then that'll be our first little bit. That's three. Then we want to go one, two, three, and then we should have one right there. It's probably going to easy, be easier just to put these in place and then figure everything else out around it. Uh, is that three? One, two, three. One, two, three. Maybe one, two, three, and one more. That'll be there. Beautiful. Ikazu, thank you for gifting subs. Four gifted subs. There's there's that number again. The number four. God, I can't believe how much I see that number. God, it's four minutes past eight. Oh, good. good. And eight is two lots of four. It's a conspiracy. Uh, Kitty, 2269. Farazi. Owls are radical. Those radical owls with their hooting ideas. Oh. And Oardar, thank you for um, tuning in. You've been gifted a sub. Be sure to say thanks in chat. Ah, this song I love. This is the one. Is this like the nine minute one that caught my attention? Yes, it is. So when I went to listen to this soundtrack for the first time, this was the first song that I picked. I was like, oh, nine minutes, you know. Let's give that one a listen. Because I like long songs. And uh, I was totally, I was totally sucked in by it. I was like, "Dang, this is beautiful music." It's um, 
It's not not the, the way I, I I often find music by going and looking for it. It's, it's not very often that I find music because there's some artist working on some project and it's like, ah, oh, now let's go check them out. At least it feels like to me. I don't know. As I say it out loud, it just sort of sounds like nonsense. <laughs> to be frank. Yeah, I'm, I'm super hyped to like listen to this record and then some more of her work. Because the stuff she's done for Minecraft is uh, really good. So there we go. Three. One, two, three. I kind of realised this isn't big enough. I need some torches. I got one. And then... Well, that there should be the last one. Cole Mick 06 is here with some cheers and biddies saying, Gotta love a good stream to unwind after a long day. Hope you're keeping well, X. Thank you, my dude. I am doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. Actually, I'm not doing fantastic. I had a pretty moody, lousy day today in the morning. I, I just have these days where I where I just don't want to wake up. You know? Every, everybody... No, no, let's not do that one again. No. God, you've done that one to death. Now I have I have mood swings. I talk about it, and uh, yeah, I just was not in a good frame of mind today. But that's all turned around by the end of the day, so that's good. It's all good now. It is all good. We need more torches, which I might have in the backpack. Nope. I just don't want to go get torches and find out that stuff spawned over here. You know, that would suck. Did you work it out, says Beta and Daniil? I, I worked out and it didn't really help. It was just uh, seeing family and stuff later in the day really helped. Yeah, I did my second workout and it did not suck as much as yesterday's, but it was a bit of an easier one. We'll see how that goes. I think I think it will probably just take me a week or two and then I'll be sort of back back at it. Seeing family is always good, isn't it just? Isn't it just? What are your go-to coping skills? Dang, interesting question. So like... Coping skills is not how I would frame it in my own head, but... Um, I think what I should have done today was step back from what I was doing. And I really wish I had have actually now, because... I put too much pressure on myself with some stuff. And, yeah, it might have helped to step back from what I was doing and then, like, do something different, but I didn't do that today. Maybe next time I'm in a thunk, I'll, I'll try that. But usually it's like... I, I, I try to very much remind myself that my brain is, like, not working right now. Like, this is not normal thinking. That's, that's essentially my goal, probably, most of the time. Is just to keep that like at the forefront of my mind so it doesn't drift but uh, today was not a good one but like the other thing is I, I get over it quicker than I used to in the past so it's like it doesn't feel like as big of a deal but I feel like I should make it a big deal because it's important to tackle these things properly so now reflecting on earlier in the day I should have taken a break from what I was doing and tried to just like mentally reset but I didn't so maybe next time we'll get it right hey we've been raided in the little woods there's a name I have known about for a long, long time on YouTube. What a legend. Uh, thank you so much, my dude. It's Martin, isn't it? Appreciate the raid. Awesome. Thank you. I'm assuming y'all were playing some Minecraft over on Martin's stream. Let me know what was going on over there. And uh, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everyone. We are playing Minecraft, obviously. God, look at this. Playing Minecraft, talking about mental health and preparing a big area for some storage. I was supposed to repair the hammer. I got distracted by this raid. He was on the latest snapshot. Oh, cool. Checking out some uh, vanilla. Yeah, the, the snapshots are now good for exploring. They fixed the seed. And so it won't change from snapshot to snapshot and you can start exploring worlds and, and doing doing all this and that. I'm looking forward to the next update. It's going to be a real game changer for exploration and whatnot, which is admittedly not the way I play Minecraft that much, but you know, 
Can you hear those background awful noises? I apologise. People are still putting their gunpowder up in the air like they just don't care about the environment. That's what they're doing. Ikazu, uh, sorry, Becca, 11. Thank you for those four gifted subs, by the way. Another number four. Is four the number of the stream today? I don't know, but Onyx Dragon, Nubifects, Mother of Corgis, and the Dr. Pumpkin. Thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all been gifted subs. Be sure to say thanks to Becca. We also got Potatoes Y here with the Prime. Thank you so much, Potatoes. Uh, Cav Maniac says, Playing Minecraft while talking about taking care of yourself is a common theme on Joe Hills' streams as well. Joe's a very bright, articulate person. I imagine he'll have a lot of uh, wisdom to say. I'm so glad that, like, we can talk about these things. I'm happy for all of you because some of you, some of you out there watching, maybe like me, when I was a teenager or whatever, like, no direction didn't have like my head in a good space back then when I went for it I didn't even know I didn't even know that like anxiety disorders were something you could suffer from and it just made you made you feel like a weirdo like there was something wrong with you but then now that we have this big discourse around talking about this stuff which is excellent like it just normalizes these things and makes you realize yeah we all we all suffer a bit from this I Kazu <laughs> says I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. Listen to Iron Mate. Now, there's a song that at the time I probably would have hated, but now I love it. <laughs> what kind of tea are you sipping on tonight, says As We Zealand. Ah, you can hear me sipping the tea. We are sipping on a decaffeinated everyday brew. I have greatly enjoyed my subscription to Joe Hills on YouTube, says Cav. Manic. Yeah, Joe's a real treasure. He's um he's got his, his own thing, his own way. Like he's very distinct. I love his sense of humour. He's got a great, great sharp sense of humour and wit. I'm gonna go grab a cup of chocolate milk, says MacLeod. That sounds lovely. Make one for me. Pour pour out a little a little hot chocolate. No, was... Okay, no, that doesn't make no sense. I was trying to make a little pour out a little liquor joke, but it, it, it like for the hot chocolate. Oh god! Heck, stop listening to gangster rap when you play Minecraft. Go, oh, what's wrong with you? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So I need like one more over here. Pour out a cup of for X as as Zealand. You've got it. You figured out the joke. Go. Oh. Put you in charge of them. Right, I decided what I want to do is um, make it so this is like a, not a crossroads, but a big intersection for the entire base. Uh, MG Javink says, I'm going to watch, see Marvel's Eternals in an hour. You're going to watch it sometime? You're not into those movies. I'm not into the Marvel DC stuff, but uh, you know, I would like to find a way in, but I just get the impression it's not for me. Um, the last one that I tried was uh, that WandaVision. I, you know, I'll always be on the lookout to see what they do. Maybe uh, maybe one day I'll, I'll find something that clicks with me, right? But I think in general I'm just into kind of different, different style of movie. The next movie I want to watch, by the way, is V for Vendetta. That popped up on Netflix and I went, oh yeah, that's, that's one from back in the day I wouldn't mind watching again. So yeah, might might watch that one next. Cindy, Mary J, thank you for the prime. Potatoes Y, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. I think I read the last one out already, didn't I? But thank you. Thank you again. You know, just because. What appropriate day to watch V as well, says Cav Manic. Oh uh, yeah, it's I'm not gonna watch it today. After this stream, I'm going straight to bed. Um, I'll probably watch it, yeah, Monday. Monday will be the next day, an opportunity for, like, movie and curry or something like that. So maybe Monday. Eternal's supposed to be remarkably different from the standard Marvel fare, so you may like it. Oh, yeah, I'll keep an ear, I'll keep an ear out for it and see what people say about it and stuff. Different is kind of like what I like. Um, 
Lena's music is so unique. It kind of sounds lonely, says A Zealand. I haven't listened to enough of her to hear what's unique, but I'm really getting that feeling of like she has something like a voice. Now, I like a lot of music. There's a lot of bands I think are doing interesting stuff, but there are musicians among them that just have a voice where it's like that is their thing. And one of them, always probably the best example for a musician with a voice, Devin Townsend, just has like a style, a persona, a way of doing music that, you know, Devin Townsend project, his solo record, Strapping Young Lad, like all of it is so distinct and unique. And with Lena, I haven't like, I haven't figured out what it is yet, but I get that sense of there's something special here. On this rec on this soundtrack, I'm definitely getting it, but I don't, I haven't listened to it enough to like figure it out. But that's, that's what drew me in because the music itself, the piano performances, the use of electronics, like all of it's like pretty, you know, aesthetically, melodically. I heard this kind of stuff before, but it just it comes together in a way that feels different. Um, it's like that, you know, the, like the reading between the lines. You just hear something else in there, and you're not sure what it is. And that's why I'm listening to this record. That's why it's on my list because I want to discover what that is. I want to find out more about it. I love Ocean Machines, says Disco Mercenary. Yeah, that album is beautiful. That 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 one for me goes way back to my youth. Um, just such a such a like an emotional metal record, right? It's personal. Really, really beautiful stuff with the aesthetics. There's like big groove riffs and whatnot, but it's like deeply atmospheric and ah, oh, such a cool record. When I saw Devin live with my mate, who's also a big Devin fan. Um, we we switched we switched seats so that we could go sit right alongside the stage and see Devin like you know five or ten meters away from where we were, and then we couldn't believe it. He played the three songs that are on the end of that record like back to back. So when he played the first one, it was I think it's Bastard is the first one. It was like oh my god, we're gonna see this live. And then it goes into the next song. He's like oh my god, he's like playing the whole thing, and then he does the bonus track after it. And I'm like, what? Like you you didn't think. You'd go to one of his concerts and he would play 30 minutes of like the end of a very old record. I mean, maybe those songs are just like way more popular than I realized, but uh, they were sort of like, they felt like hidden gems, I guess. You know, there, there would be like those those tracks that... Did I have something important in my inventory that I just clicked away? I'm not sure. We are going to need Cha Cha Woods and Glowstone. Mm-hmm. There it is. Also, are we any closer to this thing leveling up? Yeah, we'll get there soon. I've been listening to Neil Sciciera again recently, who does some very interesting mashup music that evokes some interesting moods, says Cab. Yeah, I love his music. Um, I love that kind of remixing mashup, you know, like a lot of hip hop culture is remixing. Um, the way he puts those songs together, it's like it's almost like it's impossible. You're thinking, no, no, no you, you can't put Nirvana and, and Billie Jean by Michael Jackson together. That's, but somehow he makes it work, right? Like, I, I love those mashups. There's loads of bizarre ones as well. Like, uh, doesn't he do something like he, miss it, he mixes Smash Mouth with Disturbed, Down With A Sickness or something like that. It's just so bizarre how he puts them together. That's actually... Um, so I'm finding my way back into a little bit of Fruity Loops again, and uh, I'm relearning Slicex so I can learn how to sample better. I, uh, I pulled together a really nice beat and piano sample the other day. It was like kind of nice just to uh, like get back into that feel for doing that. But like one of the things I really want to do is more sampling and beat matching. I constantly hear music, and then I'm like, oh, that could be a sample. And I've got like a big library of songs where I've like noted down that I can sample them. And it's super fun just to get in there and like pull together really obscure stuff. But because I like like hip hop and metal and experimental music, I feel like I want to like create some really eclectic beats where like the sample selection is. Uh... Oh, I just chiseled all of them, which is actually kind of okay. Because it was the right one to chisel. Oh, what did I just do? Oh. <laughs> I held shift down again. I seem to instinctively hold down shift. Whatever. Let's get into it. 
Have you ever listened to UFO Phenomenon is a great album? It rings a bell. It definitely rings a bell, but uh, I'm not sure that I have. That might have been just something I stumbled on like years ago doing some exploring. Have you listened to Girl Talk? Really great remix. I have not. If ever you want to like send me something, recommend me or whatever, just uh, tweeting me is the best way to do it. I've got quite a lot of stuff on my list at the moment though. I've got like at least another like 12 or 15 albums to get through. LG Seidel, uh, I watch like every Adam Neely video. His, he is like top notch content. And I think he, uh, he kind of gave away in one of his videos the reason why what he does is so good because he, he sort of like talked about being a youtuber from the perspective of like perhaps earning a living or seeing it as a career and he's like i don't think he intended to do this but he sort of dismissed it and sort of showed that like he is just musician first and i always get that impression from his content is that it's like he's sharing 100 percent what he's passionate about with you and it hasn't it's like it's not like a this is a career thing, you know, which I think is uh, makes some of the best content when it's just pure passion, you know. Oh yeah, Sound Gazer. I keep meaning to like listen to them. Like, I've, I'm ne admittedly, uh, criminally almost, I haven't actually listened to the sa any of the Sound Gazer stuff. And every time I hear it in his uh, videos, I'm like, oh yeah, gotta get on that. I usually listen to his stuff while I cook. So I'll be cooking and I'll have one of his videos on. And, uh, and <laughs> yeah, not, not a great time to be taking notes, you know. I'm trying not to burn the spaghetti. I mean, how does one burn spaghetti? God, it's in water. What are you doing, X? Jeez. Ah, something went wrong over here, didn't it? Oh, I should maybe double check these counts. Like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Is it? Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. We're good. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're good. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're good. One, two, three. That is in the wrong spot. Burning spaghetti. That's a new one for me. This is real on Apple. I mean, you know you're not going to be a cook when you're burning the spaghetti, right? I mean, that is a sign of not being a cook. <laughs> this isn't for you. <laughs> Aiden, FF, thank you for the Prime. And Katana Nations, thank you for two months of support. There's actually a few more here I think I didn't read. Lob Lobstromonsity, thank you for three months. G Dizzle 78 thank you for five. Also, got 850 peeps tuning in. Be sure to hit that follow button if you're enjoying the stream. Mm. Everstu says burning pasta is surprisingly easy actually well as someone who's never burnt pasta I mean I'm, I'm worried now about your cooking okay because pasta you cook it in hot water all right burning that that don't really happen that way around does it I can actually count like this now yeah that's correct I do it that way hey we just leveled up which means we can speed it up would be great for the next bit. Yeah, just doing it that way gives us a little double check, doesn't it? Right, we need more glowstone and we need to repair this hammer. And we need to upgrade the pick. I burned soup before, so this is very dark now. I am I am scared now. How does one burn soup? I guess if you cook it up in a pot, it might be possible. Actually, yeah, soup kind of makes more sense. I was thinking of put, chucking it in the microwave, but that's just like microwavable soup, so... Ain't the same as making your own, is it? Oh, I wish we had the recipe book. Uh, which one was it? Was it that one? That's the one. Got to repair the pick and upgrade it. Oh, 
Oh, that's not two. There we go. Right, it is now... Haste... Haster? Haster? Doesn't actually sound like much of an upgrade, does it? Actually, I'll tell you what. Probably going to need a bit more of that eventually. Burning pasta bake is also very easy. Crunchy. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, well, pasta bake goes in the oven, right? So you can burn pasta that way. I haven't made a pasta bake in a while. That's probably worth making. I used to like making a, a rice pasta bake. Like, it's not a pasta bake then, right? Because I prefer to eat uh, rice than pasta. So I used to make uh, the equivalent of a pasta bake with pasta bake sauce. Maybe there's like tuna. Yeah, probably, no, it'd be like a tuna and rice pasta bake. That's what I would make. That is definitely a, a sumo dish right there. I assume this dish is yours because no one else is eating it. Oh, what a joke. Oh, that was terrible. Shut up. I've seen somebody firmed water. What does firmed mean? Once over boiled water, it disappeared. Yeah, that's that's fascinating. Whenever like I see boiling water and the steam's rising off it, I often do wonder, like, oh, I wonder how much like of the steam that I'm seeing is water that is going away. I mean, you could probably you could probably do some math and experiment and get a rough idea, and then when you're looking at steam, you could be like, yeah, if that steam keeps coming out for another two hours, it'll all be gone or something. I'm just making it up, but like. It'd be probably possible to have like a, a guesstimate number. I'd be interested in knowing what that was. I want to be the person they come to when the uh, the kettle's been boiling and they're like, "How how long? If we if we leave it like this, how long till it's all gone?" I want to be that person. That, that's my special skill in life. If I were to have a superhero talent or a superpower, it would be no. That's my superpower in life. Okay, knowing. Imagine that. Imagine like. It turned out that uh, this magic genie in the bottle that you got is actually real and it's going to grant you a superpower, but it's going to be a random superpower. And your random superpower was being able to tell how much water is disappearing when it's evaporating into steam. Right? Imagine that superpower. That's you right now. How would you feel? <laughs> I think I'd, if, if that's what the genie told me, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> There's a lot of other superpowers I would have liked, like flying. But you gave me that one. <laughs> Tough luck. Try again. Can we expect Cooking with Asuma to be the next series? Um, I, I've, I've always wanted to do like a cooking video. I always thought that would be fun, but probably won't ever actually make it. Uh, Arthit, thank you ever so much. For two months of support, appreciate it. We also got Betty Bag Daddy here for 42 months. Appreciate ya. Thank you for your continued support. I think the jump thing just went off again then. Right, get more of those. So, when are you doing storage last stream, right? <laughs> we got distracted on that one, didn't we? We're doing storage today. This is me preparing for where the storage is going to go. It's going to go in the middle there. So, I kind of wanted to put all of this in. Uh, which, we're not going to build up all the way. But, I just kind of wanted the 9x9 figured out, really. Since we're doing that, I figured we're going to dig upwards. Let's put the floor in. All can be good then. Plus, we're probably going to have like a lot of wires going under this floor. As... Um, Things are going to connect up to this like central area, right? Hey, hey, hey! It's Martin one oh one eight here for sixty six months. Thank you so much, my dude. Nothing like modding Minecraft. A company in calculus. Great time to tune in. Thank you, my dude. Hope the uh, hope the stream isn't too distracting from the calculus. So I'm going to start 
shouting random numbers. 7. 2.6. Minus infinity. Oh god. Minus infinity, not again. Not that number again, surely not. Suma, get a party pickaxe. It mines really quickly and it's very cheap. Party pickaxe. There is a thing called a party pickaxe. Super fast pickaxe, right? Click for a surprise. That last bit sounds worrying. Oh yeah, the old reinforced obsidian ingot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just need that reinforced obsidian with the... Actually, I could make that, couldn't I? I could literally make that. I believe this stuff right here is witherproof. So if we need to make a wither farm... It totally said witherproof as well. Um, yeah, when it comes to making a wither farm, we could do that. So has anyone else used that and can comment on, on if it's going to be good or not? Here's the thing. I mean, it might be like an instant mine pick. I'm not sure if that would be better than my 3x3, because my 3x3 allows me to structure, uh, like, sorry, dig a little more structured, let's say, you know, a little bit more organized, because the instant mine is kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, swing it around sort of mining. Plus, we do want to level this thing up, but maybe not if we add the insta pick. Also, what is the right click surprise? It won't slow down when flying. Dang. We could give it a try then. Maybe it like insta breaks everything as well. That could be good. Oh, we need more. We need more. Right, I do have uh, torches on me, don't I? Let's put... Is that the mid Ah! Ah! Well, that was a, an amazing time to start investigating with the torch, I guess. What a stroke of luck. Yeah, there we go. I thought something felt odd then. What's the purpose of the... Uh, the purpose behind the two passes on the floor? Just satisfying a place in the way. Yeah, just look down, right? And look at how, like, the texture is broken up very subtly. That is literally the only reason for doing it. Is to break it up. I think little details like that add a lot. To be fair, though, it's rubbing against a rather... Uh, sort of boxy, typically um, kind of easy to build style, right? That we're just doing on a large scale because it's modded. Uh, but doing those things in, in big or small environments tends to go like a long way. Just that, just that little bit of variation. You know, you'll, you'll pick up on it subtly. When you, have, when you have bigger variations in the blocks as well, it can help you tell a story. So one of the things I learned from like Iskow and Scar talking to them about uh, creating paths organically and whatnot is to like create little rules for how you place the blocks. So my rule for this one is just kind of space it out a bit. Don't clump them together that often, right? And it and it's it's subtly consistent in being like that. Let's say you're mixing together three different materials. Well, you could have a rule that like material A is always placed in a group of like four or five, like a little lump. And then you'll naturally, like, just your brain will understand that without you having to think about it. So, like, when you look at an area and it's got this particular arrangement of blocks. You know, I want this stuff here to grow into uh, grass. It will it will explain itself because it will have those patterns baked into the, what seems like, randomness, right? Okay, we shouldn't need more than a stack to finish this off. Could also do more of a zigzagging pattern with the breakup blobs to get another fun effect. Yeah, yeah, you totally could. I'm going to have like the one rule for the whole thing, so it'll probably always just be done this way, but you could do the same thing. They will just naturally like tell that story. So here, it's just always got like that similar sense of separation. There's not too much of it, but there's bits of it here and there, and just just makes it feel a little more natural. 
Okay, so now, right, if we're going to... Oh, let's actually go make that super pick. I've got a feeling it will probably be better than the hammer. Ukumas us as well. I appreciate it so much more now. We'll have to try that out on a build. Yeah, I think a good place to start would be maybe somewhere like outdoorsy where you've got a path. And maybe you've got like andesite, cobble and stone. And just, just make little rules for yourself. Like, oh, I'm going to put andesite in veins... Cobblestone's going to be odd blocks, and then stone will be everything else. And like, it'll, it'll, it'll explain itself to you subtly without you having to think about it, and it'll look really good because of that. Right, we need the iron, and we need the obsidian. Oh yes, we do. And we want to make that stuff. Uh huh. Wow, that made a lot of them. Right, just any old stick. We've got sticks in here. We've got more of that stuff. Oh, that's a different one, isn't it? Oh, I don't want the ore berries. God, they can get out of here. Those ore berries. Ugh. Right, apparently I don't have sticks over here. Now we've got sticks. First time seeing these streams, is this some sort of mod you can't go above ground or just survival with mods? Yeah, we're in a stone block world, so the entire world is made out of stone. You can go to the very top, but it's covered in lava. I'm going to sneeze. Oh man, I've just been sneezing so much over the last week. I got a... Everyone who had this sickness that I had, had it linger for ages. I think mine... I think it's still lingering in some way. I, I cough up a little bit of phlegm. Ah... Oh. X, I'm so glad you told us about coughing up phlegm on this stream. I'm eating. Oh, it's so pleasant of you to tell us. God. Why do I even mention it, eh? Please tell us about the phlegm. Said no one ever in chat. Um, I probably don't need all of those torches right now either. Let's go try this thing out. Yeah, it just, it just seems to be lingering. Also, this thing looks kind of cool. Like, What did the right click thing do? I can't remember. I don't want to accidentally set it off. Right, so the height is kind of perfect for me to go and do all of this, really. Now, is it is it like faster than regular vanilla haste? That would be interesting if it were. Because doing this should leave behind little um, blocks here and there that you have to come back and clean up after at maximum reach. Kind of looks like it doesn't. Wow. Okay, so that is... I mean... I don't know. Like, it might be a modded thing. It might not actually be the pick. But usually when you mine something straight up like that, it leaves behind... It leaves behind... Hmm. It's hard to explain. Like, it will leave behind the occasional block. Because it's like, it's almost super duper instant mine, but it's not quite... What am I actually doing here? Like, that goes as well? I don't know. My brain tells me over at the edge it's different. The thing with this, though, is on the inside here, the room on the inside is going to be different. I should probably actually build a bit of this at the same time, I think. I'm not going to build the ceilings yet. I think we might wait until we get some more wand action stuff. Maybe flight. Should make it all easy to put together. Really, a dank no would have been useful right now, says Sir Pel Pel. We're getting we're getting close to that stuff. Like once we start getting the um, applied energistics going, like all of that stuff will lock into place for me. Pick is most faster than the vanilla F5 and haste too. Yeah. Okay, we're kind of kind of out of this stuff now. And again, I really should just focus on the center. Once we get the center bit done and like everything hooked up, I won't have to make these trips back and forth for things. So uh, I'm gonna grab some now, but like that's so we, we've got to focus on the inside of all this. Is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bruv. Try right clicking. What does right clicking do? Okay. What does right clicking do, peeps? You have to tell me. 
Oh yeah, that one doesn't go all the way up. It spawns cake. Go on. Oh. Well, thank you very much. What's it called again? Party pickaxe. It really is a party. <laughs> Thanks for the cake. Okay, so we're putting all the blocks on the inside in place next. Because then we're going to go in there and, and start to mine out this space, like, completely. It really... Let's, let's wobble and wiggle about with this thing and just give it... Like, it, it feels to me like it's tearing out everything. Like, the second you look up, directly up into something... Oh no, there's a few bits there that didn't actually. So, like, if I go around like this, and then we check back on it... Yeah, you can kind of see it... That's what I'm talking about, like one block at the top. But if you keep it uniform, it looks like it's pretty good. Dang, we're gonna rip out a lot of stuff with this thing. Also, I'm just noticing it's um, it's running out of durability. For some reason in my mind, I thought it would be infinite. I guess because it just seems so overpowered, like why wouldn't it be infinite? Am I mining too high right now? No, 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 no. This is going to be a very big room in the middle here. I am a cobblestone generator right now, aren't I? Dang, it's going to be a huge room. Hey, we got a noise in the ear. We've got a few actually because I missed the last few. We got Cool Keown here with the Prime. Thanks so much, my dude. Venom Strike 777 is here for two months. We've got Bellinity here for 37. And for 18 months, sorry, 48, it's Diashemi. Four years. Incredible. Thank you so much, my dude. Appreciate that support. Most of the durability went with the cake. Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. Actually, did you say that? It's It's gone down a fair bit. So, like, 4,000 left. Wow, 800. 800 for a cake. Interesting. I'll just dig all the way across to this side. Pretty close to it. Wow, this thing's going to be, like, done super quick then. I am stoked. Thank you for the tip, whoever suggested this. This is probably definitely almost 100% faster than the hammer. Which we should uh, we should let the hammer get in on the action, you know. So we would have been doing free by freeze, and then this is going to be like, I mean, yeah, it's, it's definitely going to be quicker to do it this way. Nice. Cool. Are we going one more? No. Now that's it. That's the room. Okay then. Dang, my inventory's fill filled up. With cobble. Oh. Who would have thought? How was your tea today, Asuma? Says Dear Shemi. You know what? It's uh, mostly drunk. I think I've left about 5% of it, so that was pretty good. Ikazu, you will get your full two hours today. The streak will not be broken. You will get two hours. Right, um, so we're kind of actually ready to now work on the Colossal Chest stuff. And I don't know how big or how we're going to get started, we just have to do stuff. Also, uh, I think we're going to go as far as the Obsidian one, which we might be limited on size because we need more Obsidian and I have not really done a great job over here, have I? And there is also no water on top, so like... Okay, yeah, it's still got some left there. Right, let's get the obsidian going. I think what we should do is create a little setup somewhere just to get on top of that. 
It's going to require a few things. Like a bucket. I can't see a bucket. Okay, let's start off with this stuff over here. Much better. And then we'll head over there. Um... Yeah, so I got. Excuse me, burping a bit over here. I'm gonna need a couple of just junk blocks or whatever you wanna call them. So, like, let's say we do that. Put all of these together. They can all they can all get the stuff right. Uh huh. Uh, if we do that and then zip out that. The water there. Oh. How did that happen? Was I aiming up too high? Actually, yeah, that was probably it. <laughs> I didn't destroy the grass though, or at least that bit of grass. So I'm thinking that, like, by scaling it, maybe that pumps it all in faster. So, like, we've got two bits of obsidian so far. Now, part of me just thought, oh, I can vein mine that off later. I bet that would backfire. I am not vein mining that off. Reminder to self, don't vein mine that. Yeah, there you go. Maybe. Yeah, that. no, that's definitely coming out faster. Okay, so, you know, if we just... It turns out, oh, actually, we need a lot of obsidian. It's being made. We've got some over here. That's terrific. Cool. Right, now... Now that our obsidian situation is not looking too bad... We now turn to the uh, the colossal chest. So, uh, let's think about this. We need the chest wall, which is wood and diamonds, and then that with that. Go grab some wood. Hey X, how's your phlegm? Says Penelope Sky. Oh, Penelope, just asking a casual question about the phlegm, as we do, you know. Sorry, it's a British thing to all you foreigners. We'll, you know, how are you phlegm in today? We'll say to one another on the street, oh, aren't us Brits adorable? Talking about our phlegm, oh. Right, let's go get some of this. Please complete Deep Dark Quest. I would really like to do that. We're uh, going to do the other thing first, though. Oh, that makes two. Interesting. I might not make more than that just for now. And I might have already made more than I need. We'll see. So then we'll do... Let's go get some more obsidian. X, the obsidian level might just be blast resistant and not larger than the diamond. Yeah, it says it can't explode. Now, I was just thinking, wouldn't it be typical if there was some way to accidentally overuse the mod and make it explode? I'm not going to take that risk. I'm going to do it this way. We also need uh, the interface and the chest core. So we need an iron ingot and then stone. Oh, goodness me. Oh, where are we going to get some stone from in this stone block world? Dear Lord. Okay, I think we need to smelt some is the answer. And we still don't have a proper smelter set up. Right, that can go back in there. I'll have those back, please. Thanks. And then the stone. No, the stone isn't there. Well, that never came out, did it? Why is it struggling to put iron in? Maybe it's actually... Surely it hasn't filled up full stacks of iron. Oh, this one never got an upgrade. Now it's got an upgrade. Oh, that one's missing one. Huh. There's a few missing them. Oh, there you go. Let's check these. Oh, okay. Oakley Dokley. So we want that for that, and then the stone around here. I think we might want more of them over time. Hmm. Uh, maybe it was stone bricks. Oh, it's just it's cobblestone. 
I didn't even need any stone. All I needed was cobble. Ugh. Computer game, please. Let's get some more obsidian. Those lava tanks still look full. Oh, no, no. They're totally getting drained. Dang. Alright, so we can't leave it running like that forever, can we? Yeah, let's hope it rises now. Uh, that one again. Another ten. Yeah, that might uh, that might slow us down. That might have not really been worth it. As the other stuff was quite easy to get. Okay, so somewhere here in this room. I think what I want to do is have a step down, so like you will step down to this level, just by one block, and then it's in the very middle of this room at this height that we will have our colossal chest, and you know I'm not sure if I want my cables to be a part of the base, like we could do this in a way where it's sort of on display. But I don't think we will. Hmm. I don't know. You need to play with modded more to know what's possible. We need to get like back into a, a groove. So the core. Oh, I forget the difference actually. I think the interface is the thing. Yeah, to interact with pipes and hoppers. So that we'll put. We could either put it at the. No, no. We definitely. Now that I think about it, we definitely want cables to go under the base just because of the way I've laid things out already, so that's that. If I put it at the front or a corner, you can have more access to it. But we could always put multiple of these in. So I think what we'll do is we'll have the core in the middle, and then as you come out to the edges, we'll have an interface somewhere. I I'm already thinking that making this out of obsidian was a terrible idea. Because we will not get enough obsidian for the whole thing, will we? It's like eight obsidian a block. And I want to make this thing mahusive. Ah, I'm going to go chuck them in a chest and just do it with diamonds. <laughs> what if he runs a cable along the ceiling of the corridors? Yeah, that's the kind of thing I would like to do, but I need to know more about making facades to make it look interesting and like it fits in. That is an extremely cool idea, though. It really is. I mean... Oh, how deep do I want to get into that stuff, right? Like, so if I go E2, oh, sorry, applied, and then I type in, so there's there's all your facades, right? Like, how are these made? That doesn't actually look too difficult. Cable anchors, maybe, maybe it is easy to build them. Maybe we'll give it a go. Anyway, for now, we need to do the colossal chest. So, uh, we need more of that wood and more of those diamonds. Let's get rid of all this cobble. Gosh, so much stuff in here. We kind of need like another little on-site chest. This was is super useful just to dump stuff into a chest and sort it out later. So we'll put some of those building materials on site around there. What do you think, peeps? Am I doing it right? Forget like we just wasted tons of obsidian. Let's not do that. Or or should I have made it all obsidian proof? What do you reckon? I'm just gonna abandon it now, but I'm curious. Because look, it's almost conked out our power and all the other stuff. What do you know what? We've got loads of wood over here. Won't Ender I.O. cables be much easier? No, because Ender I.O. cables are not the cables we're talking about. They don't work with the uh, network. Wait, is that what was needed? At no, that wasn't it. It was those. Yeah, and diamonds. God. Silly goose over here, aren't I? That actually brings us down to three stacks of diamonds left. Interesting. So maybe I'll make more if I need it, right? Hey, I want those back. Let's go start building this thing. And I never built the other things that I need. So, oh god, stop. 
Stop being a derp. Nope. My no. What's it with being so sensitive? And again. Right, then we need one, two, three, four, and also... It keeps... Like, I keep clicking and it's like it... I think so I'm clicking in multiple places. I did it again. Nope, wrong one. Right, I think I'm going to switch to sitting down. My feet are feeling a bit achy. So, no, apparently no one in chat has an opinion on my obsidian use. Well, okay, chat. Okay, I get it. You're ignoring me. God, what did I do to deserve this? Oh. Right, let's get this chair. Oh, desk is going to go brr. The desk is going to go brr. Like as you says, is someone speaking right now? Oh, the cheek, the nerve! Dear Lord. Let's go, bro. We need an emote for that. We really do, don't we? Whew. That's right. My desk has a motor built into it. Yeah. I'm so lazy. I can't even be bothered to reassemble my desk in the middle of a stream to a different height. Yeah. God, I had to put a motor in it. Lazy human being. Right. The core goes in the center. The center is here. And then we make this thing big. So. Like, very big. <laughs> Considering how quickly I've just gone through those blocks, I am now starting to think this might, you know, maybe we can't really go any bigger than this. That actually looks like a pretty nice dimension, though. Just looking at. Uh, the scale of it, like compared to the room, I think that's that's probably pretty decent. A look nice. Now it needs to go upwards as well as like across the floor like that. So it's seven blocks, right? So we need one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yikes! That is probably gonna use up every little bit that we have. <laughs> Maybe I built this with the wrong material. Dang! I mean. It's modded, right? But then... Yikes. And we're out. So I can build about the same amount again. It'll be close. I think we're going to use every little bit of uh, diamond peeps. Oh, you would, wouldn't you? You would. You would make me go get a crafting bench. Oh. I mean, you would, and it's wood. Like, how did that? Oh, how did that happen? I think you should use the four times me sixty four k storage cell components that are in your valuables barrel. I have what? I have what in the in the where in the wahoozle? Which one is it in? Sixty four k. You say. Do this one over here. <gasps> Dear Lord! Oh, all we need is a, a housing thing. Gosh. Golly gosh. We, we'll, we'll use those as well then. That'll be a part of the room, I tell you. We'll find a way to create some server racks in there or something. Right, I think I might do a little creative undoing and uh, exchange those for the other blocks. So, uh, forgive me for cheating, essentially. So that's 51. And that is... It's called chest... They're all called chest wall, so... Hmm... Uh sure what the best way to do that is. Let's um, let's do this first. Right, we got that. Uh, then yeah, it might need to open to land first. Game modes, 
creative. Okay, if I do that... Uh-huh. And then void those. That's me doing a little bit of me own uncrafting. Little bit of me own uncrafting right there. The cheat says Cuplex. Oh, you cheater! Oh, you... Oh, God. You would do something like that. You know? In a game where you can just craft the pick for next to nothing with full instant mine and the ability to create a cake out of thin air. God, I'm such a cheat with the mod in Minecraft. Oh. oh, I can barely watch. I can barely watch, I tell ya. A wand would be helpful right now, actually. Funny enough. I, I also, I like, I hate to... Hmm. Actually, I was going to say I feel like that should be one block lower, but maybe not. Actually, I think it would look better if it were one block... Oh, this thing's almost almost fast enough. I reckon this would look better if it were just one block lower. Uh, you know, I could have left a lot of those blocks in place now that I think about it. Whatever. Whatever, bruv. Whatevs. Right, we should definitely get that diamond though. Did I bring the wood to make the craft? Oh my god, I still didn't bring a crafting bench. I just... Wait a minute. Oh, I could have made one over here all along. What a wally. Also, I don't have sticks and I don't have diamonds. Ah, oh, we are forever walking back and forth. Kitty Bunny, 231, thank you for three months of support. Appreciate it. We really do need to get this storage thing done this stream, though, right? Like, it is that important that we do. Oh, that's how you make it. I was going to make a hammer again. You know it. You know it. Right, so, one. Uh, What? Oh, you know what? It's just it's a but. Oh, dang it! I gotta do the cheating again, cause it just robbed me of some blocks. So it's not compatible with that. Gosh. All right, there we go. Great, great. Just we're so time efficient today. It's literally ridiculous. It is ridiculous how time efficient we are. Right, one. Actually, it's two, isn't it? Because there's some below us. Oh, it has an invalid block of air. Interesting. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As high as that is what we've got to do next. And then we have a giant diamond chest. I really should have calculated the uh, the amount first. I did think about doing that, and then I was like, ah, it's modded, I'll have loads. It'll be fine, don't worry about it. We are chewing through these blocks. There is no doubt about that. There was no way I was going to do this with Obsidian Eva. That was just ridiculous. Ooh. Is that a ghost block? Oh, another one maybe. Hmm. Curious. Nice, with blocks to spare, which means that I wasted quite a bit of diamond. 
look at that. It looks a bit dark, doesn't it? I think when we remove these blocks from around it, it will look better. Maybe underneath it as well. Or maybe it needs light inside of it. Cool. I really want that thing to be bright. That was uh, one of my hopes and aspirations in life. When I was growing up as a little kid, my mum used to say, What do you want to be when you're older? I said, I want to be the one who builds the giant diamond box and it's nice and bright. Yeah, that's what I said when I was a kid, you know. When I was a young'un. How do we make it bright, peeps? It should look uh, brighter than that. I don't get it. Does that help? Oh, that did help. Oh, wow. Now it looks super cool. Dang! Oh, I love it. Maybe we can do away with those torches on top. <laughs> Guess what I'm thinking now? I am literally thinking... No, that should have been one block higher. I, I think I think it really should have been one block higher. God, I, I really... That's something I wish we had uh, in this game, was the ability to shift something. I mean, it doesn't make sense in survival, right? You can do it with world edit and creative, but just that ability to nudge everything. Oh, I, you know, I should have built that one block to the right. That would just be amazing. I don't think it would ever fit into the game, not into uh, survival. So that was the chest core, that important block. Uh-huh. Now notice how I didn't do the uh, vein mine this time. That would have been a tragedy, really. We do have to go up to the top. What was that jumpy noise, eh? Oh, dang it! i got to collect all the blocks from the inside and then get out of there without leaving something in it. I'm not sure if you can leave a torch in it so that it emits light. Maybe we could try that. Let's find out. So we've got that there. And we've got a staircase of doom over here. The jump boost noises. Right, I'm guessing that means no torch in the middle. Wait, 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 wait. What did I do? What did I do? Chat's telling me did something wrong. Oh, I built it the same place. Got ya, got ya, got ya. Well, there is this thing on the channel called a dirt button, and uh, every now and then I'm supposed to press it, but I'm never too sure why. Why I'm supposed to press this button that everyone yells about. Uh, Tacky Zach, thank you for two months of support. Appreciate it. We also got Kitty Bunny, 231. I read that one already, didn't I? But thank you again, Kitty Bunny. Oh, maybe, maybe that means my little uh, uh, torch on the inside thing might still be valid. Right, so there are loads of derp faces in chat. How many derp faces do there need to be in chat for me to press my derp button? Do we ever agree on a number? Because uh, we probably should, you know. Maybe a couple septillion? That sounds pretty reasonable and fair. I think Twitch can handle that, can't it? A few septillion com comments. Right, so that time it's built right. But... But I say, now it's now it's legit, and it's not dark. I wonder if it's something to do with this torch. Interesting. Maybe it's the light level. I think it's the light level of the thing near the core. So if I put like the torch there, does it make it super bright? Yep, it does. Fascinating. That's so cool. Right. <laughs> So there'll be a lot of decoration and stuff that goes uh, along with this, I guess. I don't know what blocks we're going to use. Probably lab blocks, something like that. The roof's going to be tall. We're going to have a big open building. Maybe some server racks in here. 
But the key thing now is to hook this thing up, so I guess that's actually going to have to go off by one block. I think I can click anywhere, yep, and then open it up. Right, that's cool. Now, part of hooking it up to our network means that we've got to prioritize stuff and cable. I actually have to do a fair bit more crafting for this, now that I think about it, so it shouldn't be too bad, but in here we have something we need to make multiple. Right, so I need to go back to my little project chest again. Oh, just back and forth. Back, back, forth, forth. And we go. Where do we go, peeps? Back and forth. Right, so I'm going to leave my building materials related to this project right here. Now that I can live with. Right, we've got, we got a diamond for that and some obsidian we can chuck in here. Right, now. We need something that's in here. There it is. We're going to need that plus one for this one. One for that one, which we haven't done yet. And one for over there. So we need two more plus the giant chest. So we need another three of these. And I threw it on the ground. You know, that's a really great start to making more of them. Let's add it to our list over here. We should probably remove some of this other stuff as well. Uh, mainly probably the inscriber. Yeah, okay. Right, so a lot of the A2 stuff is there. So we're going to move all of this set up like, over to the other spot. And we need to attach these things with priorities. Now you see this here. We need to give it a priority number. Yeah, okay, I remember how this works. So if we craft a few more of these, we're going to be good. Now everything related to this I've put in here. So it probably makes sense to take out some of these things. As they are related to what we're doing next. Um, that should probably do it. Oh, we're probably going to need those, right? So in order to make this, we need the interface thing. So it's really about making the formation core and the annihilation core. Right, and I have the logic processors. Oh, do you know what? I might be able to make some of these off the bat by the looks of it. Let's go get some iron. And we got Penelope Sky here subscribing. Thank you so much, Penelope. Appreciate it. Did you like the phlegm update? Oh, that made you subscribe. That's weird. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I think I can use regular quartz, right? Where are the quartz at, homie? I can't see the quartz. We've got to have some more quartz. There it is. Also, that's related to what we're doing. Okay. So we go over here. We need... That many, I think? Four of those? We'll just make four of each for now. Which is exactly how many we can afford to make, so that's good. Um, then we need those old pistons. Eight of them, to be precise, I think. Why you stream at nine, says Samuel Treehouse. To generate comments about why I'm streaming at nine. You see, what you want is engagement, okay? And so I'm not very good at making quality content that engages people. So what I do is I stream at really weird times of day, like 9 o'clock when no one should ever be awake. And it means lots of people ask why I'm streaming at 9. And then the algorithm. Oh, yeah, the algorithm. God, that algorithm. Oh, we love it. Uh, Cell Marzokt, thank you ever so much for the prime. Appreciate it, my dude. Akazu says, at least you're self-aware. Thanks. Uh, before you start X, I highly suggest you use sub-networks to hook up all the different drawer walls. This is why the easy expansion later without too many channels. See, I don't even know what sub-networks are. Can you tell me what a sub-network is? 
And explain it to me like I'm five, Cuplex. No, four. Explain it to me like I'm four, Cuplex. I've told you that many times before. Go on, we'll make all of those. We need four sticky ones. Oh boy, it was in the tutorial world. I must have not got that far in then. I like I got to this bit that said advanced, and I was like, yeah, I'll come back here another time. Oh right. Oh wait, wasn't I making that? Oh gla. Oh gosh. Golly gosh, I forgot a step. Uh, we got a noise in the ear. It's like a gaming here. Gifting a sub to Nightbot. Thank you for gifting that sub, my dude. We also got Santa of Scarva gifting five subs to Mookie Tuddy. Exit Flagger. Regulus. Rivalus. Jaden Kenji. Hobo with two shotguns. Crazy username. Be sure to say thanks if you heard your name read out loud. Thank you again, Santa, for supporting our community. We got Flynn51100 here with the Prime. Appreciate it. Appreciate it ever so much, my dude. My dude diddly oody dude. Ooh. Yeah. What am I like? Right, let's uh let's do that. Now the other thing that we're gonna need a bunch of are these Emmy glass cable fluix things. But first of all, I interrupt this live stream with an announcement that we are going to another world right now. <gasps> oh such hype! I hope this doesn't crash the client. Oh, don't crash, modded Minecraft. You take 10 minutes to load up. Look at that face. That is the face of a derp. That is... that. I tell you what, when I... Not only does the mod pack take ages to load, but when I loaded up the world, I noticed it took quite a bit longer than usual, which made me go, hmm, why is it taking so long? By the way, the uh, the actual thing has crashed as well, which is not good. I mean, it's kind of hanging at the moment. Ugh. Note to self, maybe save before I... Yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see it doing its thing, but it's locked up. And it's crashed. I see X still hasn't pressed the dirt button, says Anna Bombanana. Oh, God, that's a derp, that is, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to have to press it again. Flynn says Java VM needs more RAM allocated to it. That's why it freezes and crashes. Is it now? Is it? Um, It's got six gigs allocated to it, and it's recommended to have four, so I don't think that's it. Using the new loader, X, as I am sweetie. Nope, they haven't fixed the issue. I can't load the game from the new loader. Uh, Cuplex says, no, that is not really true. RAM more than 8 gigabytes is detrimental. Yeah. Yeah, I remember uh, Grian used to have lag issues with Minecraft. And he was like, oh, I set the gigabytes of RAM to 64 and everything. And I was like, well, that's why. <laughs> like, if you give it too much, it has to constantly empty it out. If you press F3, you'll see this little meter in the top right corner that shows you the RAM, like cycling and emptying. So you kind of want to keep it so it's around like 75, 80%. If you give it too much RAM, it just has, it just creates little lag spikes where it empties all the RAM out each time. I would say play Bedrock, but we have so many more problems, says Queef Keen. On Bedrock? I thought Bedrock was pretty stable. Flynn says, oh, I didn't realise it already had six. Mine was originally set to one gig. If you set it too low on modded, then yeah, it won't work. But, uh, you know, Becca says, best stream ever. Thanks. Look at the loading bar. Oh my god, it's moving from left to right. I can't believe I just jumped back. The loading... Oh, there's another loading bar! Oh god, I knocked over a bottle of water. This is too much for me to handle. Oh, there's a third one. I see a third... Th oh, look at it go. So many numbers, they're going up. The dopamine rush is real. 
Oh jeez, I've never seen a loading screen like this before. This is very entertaining, says Judgmental Bird. You have judged well, my friend. You have judged well. Speaking of numbers and dopamine rush and stuff, yesterday I was playing Diablo 2. Beat, beat uh, Bale at the end. So I'm going to do the cow level. I'm going to like complete a couple more quests. But like where I've been getting sucked into the game, I'm like super aware of what it is. There's like just this drive to want to get the better gear. But like the whole game's mechanic is grind, 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 and like I was looking deeper into the numbers. Like there's so much more information available now than when I was a kid and I played it. So when I was a kid, you just sort of like played for fun and like hoped for good drops. Whereas now there's all this information into how the dropping works, where to get it, strategies, and like reading about strategies. And I watched a, an, an hour-long speed run where someone completed the game in under an hour. And just like learning all this weird stuff about how it works, which is kind of interesting, but like it's weird to like want to keep playing when the end goal is just endlessly grinding to get some ridiculously unlikely drop for an item. So I don't know, it's kind of weird just to see see the game's mechanics so bare, yet still sort of feel like I want to play it. So I'm definitely going to like cut it off in a bit. It's going to be like, all right, played the game again from start to end. That was fun. You know, let's do uh, let's do a few more things and then call it a day, essentially. So I think I got as far as here. So I don't know what subnets are. Building your first network. No, I, I, I went into this bit. The next one says advanced. Ha. Huh. Don't let this name scare you. This section will explain how to get more channels and do more of your network. Go! Ah! Oh, advanced net. Oh, jeez, jump scare. Subnet. Oh, sub networks. Where's my zoom key? The sub network is a network nested within another network. Interesting. Inception. A network can view all the contents of the sub networks, but not the other way around. This terminal can view sub networks, so it sees all items. Okay, uh, since the sub-network requires power, a quartz fibre is used to send power but not data. Okay, I'm already confused. Notice how the main network can only, only uses three channels despite having more than three data using blocks in the whole network? Okay. So that sees what's in there. This sees everything. That's an ME interface for storage bus. So that points to that. Uh, I'm not sure I get it. I kind of get it. Like, this is a smart cable, and so is that. Is the color significant, Cuplex? The storage bus attached to the interface is the external storage from RS. Refined storage? No, it applied energistics. It interacts with any storage capable thing, which includes interfaces as described earlier. I can I can kind of see it like, so you plug a bunch of stuff into this and then that thing picks it up from there. But it's one-way traffic. So that's why at this terminal you only see what's in there. Now, my brain is just saying, why don't you just plug everything in at this level? But I'm guessing the issue is that you have a limited amount of channels. Yeah, I see the channel number there, actually. Three of, actually, it all says three of eight. Hmm. I don't get what this thing is doing. Oh, so that sends power? That just says smart cable, actually. Fluix, orange, red. So, a quartz fiber. Oh, wait, I can kind of see there's a little bit of that there. Huh. This is going to kill me, Cuplex. <laughs> 
The main thing is to put a storage bus attached to an ME interface. Didn't I just make a bunch of uh, the wrong thing then? Let's, um... Oh. ME storage. Oh, no. Luckily, I made the right thing. Okay. So then I want a storage bus. Right. But I want to use that ME interface to connect to the other things. I'm assuming I do that at this part here. ME controller. Let's get the ME interface on our list. So we've got to make that. Oh, which we've already made today, so that should be nice and easy. Got to make a bunch of those. The problem is, Cuplex, I'm going to go into the world and sort of copy this layout, but not really get why, I think. This daisy chaining of subnetworks can occur infinitely. What is wrong with... What's wrong with this example of a subnetwork? Hint, look at the channels and how they're connected. I can see straight away that it goes around, so they're both they're both the same network. I mean, I think I get it, and then maybe I don't. So... Is this talking about priorities over here? Or something else? Because the way I was going to set it all up was... What on earth is that? Hang on, we've, we've, we should go back and look at some more stuff, I think. P to P. Another without first going through your storage. P to P tunnels or peer to peer is a way to think... Is a way to link one... Oh wait, is it that to that? P to P tunnels or peer to peer is a way to link one thing to another without first going through your storage. Right. This is the basic P2P tunnels. It transfers channels. Wait, am I reading left to right again? There are other P2P tunnel types. They are made by right-clicking the default P2P tunnel. Okay. Uh... Oh, right, and then it makes it like a redstone texture. Okay. Can you make it that texture? You can. Shift right click the air to clear it. Shift right click the air, the input tunnel to select. Right click all of the other PDP channels. I, I don't even understand this. Oh, you need a memory card. Clear the memory cards. Click the input, la la la. So like no. <laughs> or is it that? No. I don't get this. Here is an example of how P2P tunnels can help you expanding your network. I don't know what way to read these signs in. I'm getting confused by them. Notice how only 7 channels are used while supplying 32 by 3 However, you cannot see the interfaces. This is because it is the P2P, the tunnels trans... Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't get it. Um, well, I get I get the idea that this, this reminds me of watching King Daddy DMAC do this stuff, but like... I get that there are these free cables here, and then they connect to all the interfaces, and the interfaces can be other bits of networking. I kind of get that. It just... It just seems a bit weird. 
I don't know. Like, I don't know how I'm going to manage all of that. Probably just takes a bit of uh, experience. Shift click the memory card, someone says. Alright, shift click it. Oh, new to wait. Is it shift the first one and then. So you basically tell that to go to there with the memory card. And it gets power from there. Hmm. I don't know. I uh, I think I think I'm just gonna try and use a small amount of stuff here. Essentially. Um I guess what I could start off by doing is just have one of these, and then eight things can go into that, and then one of those eight will be another one. So it just continuously subchains, which see like I don't I don't see the point of that. Like it's a limitation, right? That you work around to get more stuff connected, but I just maybe that is the point, just so it's a bit more interesting. The main thing to remember is the storage bus on an ME interface. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll get some ME interfaces made then. Right, we don't even know if our world is corrupted or not or something, which it probably isn't. I am sweet, he says. Can anyone else hear brain X's brain whirring? It's not whirring. It just... I go blank when I read. Like, the best way for me to learn is to want to do something and ask someone questions about what I'm trying to do like that way I can piece it together in my head but when someone else like explains it to me it's like I just can't grasp what they're saying it's like reading those signs it's like I don't I don't know like it, it I don't know like the English language just doesn't translate very well this is pretty much where we logged out so I think uh, it was okay it's, it's like the English language just doesn't give it to me in my head, like what I'm supposed to know. That's how it feels. I just, I just feel completely clueless until I understand like how to use it or what I'm trying to do. Right, so we need uh, more of those. Oh, is it the circuits that throttled us? We actually have more of the calculation presses. Which are... Oh, neither of those are used. Okay. But we have those and the other thing, right? Yep. So we just need to make more logic processes again. So it's like four gold or eight gold. Actually, I think we'll go at eight. I think we might need some more silicon again. I don't remember how we made that stuff. Mr. Alex DeGhost has just joined. What is X getting a headache now? <laughs> uh, trying to do this stuff. It's giving me a headache. I put that there, it should let me shift click the correct one in, and it happens to be the first one I tried. So we want eight of those, uh, but we need that, which I forgot how we made. Crushing sand, was that? Didn't we do that and then it turned out to not work? So we made something else? I forget how we did it. Well, I got loads of that stuff, haven't I? There you go, so if I take a bunch of that, does that make it? JKST says there's a great, there's a YouTube channel I know that's really good tutorials on AE2. Yeah, again though, like, how, how do I learn? This is the thing, like, I've tried watching videos of people explain modded and it just, I find it so difficult. I, I, I learn hands-on, that's just me. I'm, not complaining, it's just how I am. It's, it's, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's like, when I read the words, I'm trying to picture what, what they mean or what it is. It's the same with like following a video. It's like, I don't understand it until I'm the one doing it. Then it like pieces itself together in my head and I'm like, ah, this is what we're doing. The best way to learn is to run headfirst into a brick wall, says Shadow Warrior. <laughs> oh, that's great. J 
JKST says, I think possibly the best way to learn would to be in a server and work with someone. Yeah, if I could ask someone questions and poke, because then I'd be like, wait, why would I do that? Oh, here's why you want to do this. Because that's that tends to be like the thing, is the why of it that I, I get caught up on, I guess. When I understand why... Hang on, what, what was it? Was it that one there? Oh, am I doing this all wrong? Right, that one goes here. There we go. X, you got a beautiful brain, says Ikazu. Nope, my brain is her... timing of these eyes my brain this is what my brain is like when i'm reading that couplex tutorial my brain's like that's literally what my brain's doing <laughs> it's just bobbling around cluelessly bouncing off the walls yeah i know what you mean x it's like the words just don't make sense when put together on a sign or an instruction manual if that makes sense, as it's electric. No, it doesn't make any sense, it's electric. I don't understand the words you just put in a message. It's just a bunch of words, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> no, no, I totally get ya. I totally get ya. Four of those, four of these. Actually, I think that's that might be too many. I don't know, how many do we need again? Well, we've got eight of those now, and five of them, so that should be good. Right, now the other thing that I need, I don't know what I need because I forgot because we were in the tutorial world and I didn't quite write it down. Um, I think we need a lot of this. Actually, yeah, no, I think that's what we need. Then the thing that's going to trip me up is probably the little power cable thing. Uh, maybe we type cable. Oh, they're all called cable facade, aren't they? This. That's what we already have. But there was another one, like quartz fiber, I think it was called. Maybe if we type fiber. Is that it? Is that a different thing? Quartz fiber. I think that might be the different thing. That's actually used to make that, so I think you can use it separately, right? Let's check it out. Uh, I should. Oh, I don't actually have the cable over here. Okay, now we do. Yeah, so that makes this. Right, interesting. And then you can dye it or undye it at some point. So we probably need to make as many of those as we can. Is that really... Is that literally as many as I can make? I, I definitely can make more of that. Why does it not... Okay, let's not use that. We can have those back. Thanks. Let's not use that then. Let's try this over here. Definitely make more of that. There you go. Again, though. Oh, right. I'm short of glass. Short of glass. Got no sand, have I? Stop grunting! <laughs> I probably at some point should have made uh, a bit more, like, or, or, or sort of sand generator thing. We'll get around to that. We'll get around to that, peeps. Oh yeah, do you know what else I need now? I need a wand. Oh, we're back at this level again. This should have been fully automated time ago, I tell you. There you go. Might just chuck it in this one, actually. There we go. Easy peasy. I think it only pulls from the inventory and the controller, not yours when crafting, says Varrock. Well, how did it how did it then get those to begin with, right? Because they were only in my inventory. That's more like it. That's still, like, not a lot, if that's... Does it make more when we do the next bit? It, at least it makes more when we do the next bit, right? But then I need more of those. Right, so how do we get these? What? That is weird. Oh my god! It's dancing! Oh, I 
forget that that doesn't work. It's this, isn't it? Charged, Certus Quartz, Nether Quartz, Redstone. So we probably need to go to the Nether again to do more of this. Dang it! We might not actually get this done today, can you believe it? That is good. Right, so if we go to the, uh, if we go to the, if we go to the never now, like, I'm going to be ambling around again. We haven't really got stuff to help us get the quartz quicker. Flight is probably going to be like, take a whole stream to catch a ghast, so. What's, what's the shortcut here? Just to note, a small child is not a shortcut here. <laughs> okay. Jetpack says Yeetland. Ah, uh, that'll, that'll probably be another rabbit hole. Won't it? I don't know. That'll probably backfire. Probably spent ages making weird stuff. And... Do you have witch water, says Annabelle. Oh yeah, isn't there a way to get a ghast with uh, witch water? That might be a trick. So let's go the old uh, angel ring. Right, so... Uh, gold, glass, not a problem. These two things. So you need that plus 8 XP, not a problem. So we have to get a bat, which might be kind of tricky to get a bat. Might get a bat in the never. Then you need the ghast. It says zero health. That's sort of concerning. Maybe he doesn't need to have low health then. Squid in witch water. I, yeah, then I need a squid. <laughs> Check to see if you have any bat bags. I don't think bat bags are in this pack. I think the problem with generic instructions is you have to understand the problem before you can start to understand the solutions is black oak. Yeah, yeah, that's probably another way of quite elegantly describing it. Wait, let's check if bat bags are even a thing, right? Yeah, they're not. They're from a different mod pack, so it's, they're not going to be over here. Well, there might be. It's just an angel ring. <laughs> like, that would be that would be convenient, wouldn't it? Or maybe there's something else over here that could help us fly. There's certainly a lot of stuff that I don't even know what it is. Sleep charm, that is. I think you have squid bait, says Annabelle. That's interesting. Is there ghast bait? Need a couple of fish for that, don't I? Unless you mean I have it here. I mean, having this thing hooked up to AE right now would just be amazing, but I don't have it hooked up. <laughs> Wait, there's this clownfish. Hey, squid bait. So if I put that in water, I might get, like, a squid. Interesting. There's a cheaty wand of cheatiness there. What does that thing do? Someone says, dig a hole to the bottom, put water at the top, that'll get you a lot of squid. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds quick, but it's probably not, because, like, how do you get up and down from the bottom of this hole? You're going to put it in an optimal position. It takes time to dig. Like, here we might just have... Well, that's kind of weird. Might just have a better chance. I think it might be smart just to make sure it's surrounded by water.
Don't know how long that will take. Get the lasso before the squid. Good idea. Actually, what I wanted was that, wasn't it? And some strength. How do you get... Oh, God. We might need that. I think you can get them from... Uh, what are they called? Wassama Doodles. Oh, Wassama Doodles, X. Oh, yeah, of course. The old Wassama Doodle. They might come out of these uh, loot bags, but I think you can get them from Wither Skeletons. A time in a bottle is something you might want to keep in your inventory. We'd all love time in a bottle. Gosh, wouldn't we? Chance Cube Scanner. Interesting. Didn't know there was such a thing. Wait, is that silicon? That's not what we need, though. But it's useful. I wonder if there's any... I wonder if there's quartz. <laughs> Let's not forget what we're doing this for, peeps. Uh, Shosuke says, what are the black blocks used as wool? Oh, I'm literally... I literally dropped my cursor on it. Ah, brilliant. I literally dropped my cursor on it. I was looking at chat and Zeeland's like, quartz! And I'm like, where? Oh god, it's on my cursor. I can't remember what the other thing we were about to talk about was, but it's long gone. It's in the past. Wasn't it that we came over here to look for that wisp of evil thing? So, if that exists or not, I no longer care. But I will put the squid in the lasso, if need be. Susan said, I thought you did that on purpose. It would be very trolly of me to do that, but no, that was genuinely just a uh, complete coincidence. Oh, wait, it just did a particle effect. Particle effects are happening. Don't know why I'm trying to turn it into a... What are you on about? I think it needs more power when it does that. So, uh... Why did we need this again? To make that. Oh, yeah. Hang on, have we got the right one? Nether quartz. Charge, Certus, and redstone... Deuced. Redstone deuced? You're saying it wrong. No, I'm not. I'm saying it exactly how I want to say it. Right, so let's dump all of this nether quartz, redstone, and that stuff. No, state! Oh, you, oh. You're supposed to go in the water. No, I, I don't want it. Oh. Jeez Louise! Go over there and stay over there. You've been naughty. Stay in the corner. That's beautiful. I like the way it's just spitting into my inventory. That's cool. Right, we've got stupid amounts of that now. And now we will make stupid amounts of this. No, I'm missing something. Where did I put it all? We want that and we want that. We'll get four times the amount. So what was that made out of again? No, recipe. Oh, my God. I've got a click here. I've got a click somewhere. Not there. So, quartz powder or the Certus quartz dust. Can I make... I think I can use, like, Fluix dust. So... Did I crush it? I think I crushed it. We're crushing it, peeps. We're crushing it here on Twitch. Because of numbers and stuff. By the way, there's a thousand peeps watching. If you've been entertained today, be sure to hit that follow button. All right. Give it a good old smash with your fist. All right. Break that screen. Come on. Come on. Have a little fun in life. Break a screen. Oh, that went down the wrong way. That's what I get for encouraging people to break screens. Oh. That went down the wrong way without making me cough, I've just realised. Like, that totally went down the wrong way, and I seem to be okay. Okay, anyway. Now we got that, we are probably, possibly, going to be able to hook something up here. So, well, we kind of need these things, actually, now that I think about it. So, we need that set up somewhere with the spectres. And I don't really think I need these other things immediately. Let's actually take everything out. Oh, yeah, full inventory. Great. 
Let's take everything out of that disc, so that disc is empty. Gonna need another temporary junk chest, I guess. We're gonna deal with all these chests eventually. Uh, just zip all of that stuff in there. And we'll take the things that we actually need. Hey! I was just thinking I need need one of those. Right, we've got a squid. So it's squid and witch water, right? But we need to get the other thing. So that, that's just a job for another day. We won't worry about that. So we're going to need our Emmy interfaces, storage bus. I do actually need a little bit of that quartz fiber as well, I think, if I understood it correctly. Can that be made with this then? Because I thought I made all we could. And it can, and that means we can probably... Oh, we're out of glass. Probably make a fair bit more. Right. Got the cables to connect the things. And I think the other thing that we need now is just stuff from over here. Right, I'm going to leave those there for now. Uh, I am going to pinch a couple of these though. Maybe we shouldn't pinch that one, it's doing a job for us. Oh, this song is so cool. Right, off we go. Get some vanilla chests for network debugging. Cuplex, I don't even know. Look at these eyes. I don't even know why I'm debugging a network. I haven't even built a network. I have no idea why I need vanilla chests. Let's uh, let's just try and get this to work. Oh. Hey, rest in peace. 12 is here with some cheers and biddies saying, Heck, I'm loving this modded series I've been watching since season one of Hermitcraft and have watched nearly every modded series you've done. I like the way you do modded. You put time into decorating your bases, which is what I feel is missing from most other people's modded playthroughs. Also, love the Evil X stuff. Best season of HC yet because of that. Also, sorry to hear your illness. Glad to hear, pun intended, you're doing so well. Thank you, my dude. What a lovely message. I appreciate it ever so much. Yeah, you're absolutely right about modded. Um, I think it's because modded attracts the kind of players that look for grind as opposed to like creativity. Vanilla's more creative, modded's more like play through the mod. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. So we're going to need an energy acceptor. Um, thank you again my dude, really appreciate it. Glad you've been enjoying the uh, stuff over the years. Hey Tandanil, thank you for gifting the sub to Rest in Peace 12. Very kind of you to do that. Appreciate your support in the community. We also got Cole Mick. Gifting a sub to Red Spotted Toad. Thank you so much. Again. So if we uh, if we try and focus for a minute again, we I think what we want to do is put that first of all on here. Then we learn that it needs to go into this. Uh, so this is all happening out of sight. I think I click there and it becomes a part of the same block. So we can put our Emmy interface next. So now that's part of this thing, and then we want a storage bus here to go into the main network, is how I understood it. So what I might do is actually put a bit more of this on display. So we're going to have steps that come down to this level that I'm currently standing at. I do probably want to find a way to make what's down here a bit more interesting maybe you see some of this but well mega jump I think what's gonna happen is you're gonna see you're gonna see some parts of this I'm just not sure yeah maybe I'll come back to it later like if we want to put our energy on display we can but I think it's the ME controller that I kind of want on display somewhere so let's go and bring it out here and then we'll just attach that to the side nope that's the wrong block 
Now, how have I placed that twice? I can put one more of these on it on the bottom so we can get more power into the system. Maybe actually what we'll do is we'll have it so that like you come into the room but like you, you turn around and the little interface is here. I kind of like that. And maybe we'll end up putting like one in each corner at some point or something. Now I probably want to see the ME controller because it looks cool. Let's make it one block higher. Now there is power in the network so that turns on and I didn't bring the panel. Oh I did bring the panel. Can I whack it there? Wait, what is that? That is it, but it's flipped. Ha! <laughs> Wait, that's really weird. It's flipped. So, what happens if I put it on this block? Now it's flipped that. That is the weirdest thing ever. That makes my brain hurt. Why does it do that? Do I have to do that? Yeah. Then I can look. Uh-huh. Doesn't find it. That's interesting. Okay, I think I know why though. Right, let's lower this down a block. Put that there and put this on it. Okay. Now, the reason I think it didn't see anything in here is because of power. We have to give power but not data to that bit, which I think you do like this. So, oh, wow, those are, like, really... Ooh. Oh! Like, it kind of makes me feel like that's not connected there. That's really odd. No. You only need one quartz fiber. Well, Cuplex, I might only need one. Let's reconnect all of this. If I put my storage bus back here. Also, am I supposed to configure something in here? I do not, because I do not understand that. So, like, that's me placing one. So you branch off with one of the fiber and use Fluix for the rest of the connection. Oh, okay. Like that. So that's power going through to the next bit, which means now we can see that. Okay, so I figured that bit out. Gosh. Golly gosh! X did a thing! So now, if I want to... I think I might reconfigure this, actually. Like, now that I see that. I need a bit more space to work with here. Let's uh, let's grab the super pick for a second. I think what I'm going to do is rearrange some of this now. Now that I know I want to put this terminal thing here. We'll probably end up rearranging. Oh my god, that jump boost thing is annoying. Okay, so... I probably want this to like branch out in different directions. So would it make sense to put my ME interface back over here? I think it would. Let's try this. And it'll be interesting to see... I'm pretty sure that'll break it, actually. So... Hmm. Actually, have I got the right idea? Okay, I'm going to... I don't know if I can have one ME interface here... And then four sub-networks. So if I go off in four different directions to different parts of the base, is each one of those a sub-network? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. And maybe what I'll do then is I'll put the energy part of the network on display. And it'll be up above. So that goes there. Energy acceptor up top. And then we got these things on it. And this will look better later on. We'll, we'll put something better than spectre coils. Can I have that boot jump boost now? It'd be kind of helpful, actually. God, it's never around when you need it, is it? So, does that feed power in? Because we could bring power from the ceiling or something. I think that's bringing power in. 
Uh, guys, he's making a sub network. X, don't forget the storage bus on the interface. Ah, yeah. Okay, so that needs an interface. And this is a sub network now. So over here, it's connected to that. And it needs. I think the way to do it is probably this way. Am I doing it right, Cuplex? Is that is that me making four sub networks? The only thing here is this priority system. I do not know how it's going to work because I will probably want to make this a low priority and the storage drawers that are locked a higher priority. So like it'll always store those sorts of items in the storage drawers. Uh, this one though, I'm not sure if I want to lock it or not, so it might need to be a higher priority. Basically, like when we chuck items into the system, they're going to get put into the highest priority place. So if you've got storage that's specifically designed for something, it needs to go there first. Um, so if you're going to have like stupid amounts of an item come in, you want it in drawers as opposed to in that chest. That chest is for all the other stuff. And admittedly, like some of this stuff that we got here, we probably want to put into better types of storage as well. So, I don't know how that's all going to play out really, like, I, I'm probably just going to start with chucking as much of it into the junk bit as I can. Right, so sub-network, we're going to have sub-network going that direction, and we'll hook it up to this old thing. But what I also want to be able to do is give it a little interface for me to chuck all the junk into the storage here. So that's our like main task right now. I'll also be able to just chuck... A oh, that's how I'd do it. I'd chuck one of those on the cable. Right, I got it, I got it. I'm brain-smarting it. I'm brain-smarting it, peeps. Do you know what? I think... I think what I should do is keep it under the glowstone because then all of this stays lit it's lit fam oh that joke is so old x why do you always do that one silver cap thank you for subscribing with the prime my dude appreciate it appreciate it ever so much where me apples at me apples are gone x that's not how it sets up each interface for one sub network so you need four storage buses hooked up individually to four interfaces. Oh. So is it supposed to be the other way around? Is is Yeah, no, I think I get what you're saying. Okay, let, but that that actually worked. Which is what's weird. I guess it probably didn't put it in a sub network. Uh oh. Well, it all needs to be rebuilt, doesn't it? Let's try again. So the ME interface goes here, and those storage buses go on either side. And then we have that. Hook this up. Attach the fiberglass somewhere. And that gives it power. I think that's right. It just feels a bit weird the way that connects now. Oh, now it... Cup legs. Wrong again, you need what multiple interfaces? What do you mean multiple interfaces? I did think that feel a bit weird. Cuplex, please, he doesn't need that many channels, says JKSD. I mean it worked before, right? Are you telling me I need four ME interfaces? Is that the idea? If I'm going to have Okay, in that case, I think I know what to do. I'll probably need to go low with this whole area, though. Do I need four ME interfaces? That could have been disastrous. We got lucky. Becca says yes. Okay, so then what I do is I come down like this. And I put my interfaces like this, I guess? Or do they plug into the interfaces? I think... If I remember how it was in the other setup, they plug in to the interfaces. 
Therefore, I'm going to run out of these storage buses before I've even hooked them up to anything. So like that. That don't look good. Maybe it goes out one block further. Oh, gosh. Right, is that correct? Are you happy? That is correct. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So, let's go and just move this block block back one block. Hook it up. Uh, no. Like that. Okay, then this can go off in this direction, right? Hey, we had a subscription. Oh, no, I read that one, didn't I? <laughs> just in case I didn't, Silver Tea Cat, thank you for subscribing. I think I did actually read that one. I was just checking. I was just checking. Okay, cool. Right, so I think we've done that. Got this one hooked up. We're going to have the next thing hooked up. Thing is, i got to know where to put the next thing. So, oh, jumpy jump. Gosh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not running. I need food. Okay, okay. So now, next step. Oh, I should have taken the Y level. Should have checked the Y level. Um. We are in line, but we're not. We need to go over by like two blocks and down down to like 83. So over by two blocks and down to 83. Never dig straight down, they say. I'm playing modded Minecraft though. Perfect. No torches, though. No torches. And I didn't put any in there. Where's my Where's my amazing jump when I need it? Oh, it's actually there. <laughs> that was cool. That works. So, where are the torches? Do I put them in a chest or in here? Or somewhere. Anywhere. Torches! This is why... We need to get this storage sorted today. Okay, so we're going to bring that cable through, obviously. Do I have enough cable to bring it over here? I do. X, for your info, the interface essentially simulates a new controller so you can branch more than one channel from that interface to the subnetwork. I have no idea what you just said, Cuplex. Zero. Crickets. That was what I heard in my head. Cr absolute crickets. Okay, there we 
go. We've got a little bit of uh, light from the glowstone, I think. Coming through. So, all I have to do is attach that here. And then bring it down. And uh, we should have what we want. <laughs> Mr. Alex Dego says, are you teaching him a cheese way instead of having him learn item management? It's an interesting take on things. I don't know what we do. I still understand that we've got to manage the items. Oh yeah, I should have checked to see. We should now see all of that stuff in there. And we... What's that about? Oh. I think it might be how far away from it I am. Weird. Uh. Oh! I was looking in the wrong thing. Of course I was. That looks good, doesn't it? Now, fortunately, all of that stuff's locked. So only when we choose to store stuff over there will it actually store it. Uh, what we need to do is now tell this thing that it has a high priority. So it means those items end up here. And I'm just going to set it plus 10 for now. So if I chuck... Oh yeah, I also, there's something else I wanted to do here as well now. Can I make another one of these? Uh, not that. Like... Basically that, illuminated panel, I mean, oh, I guess that just adds, right, do I have the formation cores still? I think I, oh man, this is going to send me down a rabbit hole, so, oh yeesh, let's double check it, double check it, um, we need one of those and one of each. Ah, oh, we need so much stuff. Oh, okay, let's start off with some glowstone, redstone, and was it an iron ingot? Let's get that illuminated panel out of the way. Probably already got some because you get three each time. Yep, yeah, there you go. So I need to make those again, which are made out of the crystals, the pure ones, where are the pure ones? They are here, and gold was the other thing. Right, and we already did some batch making of stuff earlier. Ah, dang it! Got. <laughs> So I'm going to temporarily bring like a cable out from underground. Oh, we can see it there. Beautiful. This is just temporary, my friends. And on it, I guess I can chuck this for now. Alright, shouldn't need more than four, right? Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, that one. That one does it. Cool. And we're going to need eight of them. Oh, we're so close. Baytan and Neil says, I love this music. It's really great, isn't it? Is this mod pack publicly available, says the addict. Yes, it is. Publicly available is what it is. Right, let's find out what one it is for that one. It's this one here. Hey, X, thanks for getting me back into modded. Since you started Stoneblock, I've lit it's literally all I've played. Cool, awesome. After this is set up, is it worth trying the remote controller for the ME system, says Safe Cactus? Yeah, probably is. What I what I kind of want to do getting this set up is get all the items in one place, create easy access to stuff, let's get flying, let's get the remote access, just really, really try and like pivot to reducing all the friction for creating things in our world. That's sort of my plan. So that stuff goes in next. 
We're going to make these, so we need the sideways ones, which we've probably got. Or is it the other sideways one? It's probably that one, isn't it? Quartz again? Ugh, I've got a feeling I used all of it. I've got... Oh, it lets me... Hang on, it lets me do that one, so... Nether quartz, dust, and sands. I actually have some of that, but I'm gonna make I'm gonna make more of those pure crystals then. Where oh, actually, do I have? I have 43. Uh, do you know what? Quite bothered. We we definitely gotta like go back to farming some materials at some point as well, because yeah, we got some stuff that needs to be farmed better. So I think both of those work that way. Yep. So that's going to give us these components. Then we just need our dust and quartz. There's our dust, there's our quartz. And the other one is with the crystal thing. Cool. Yeah, I guess I'm making that many, aren't I? We're going to need a bunch of these for other stuff as well. Oh, wait. Were they all gold? Oh, they were all the golden type. God, what a wally. What a wally. Dang it. So, I guess we need more of that. Next, you have a network with your crafting terminal that has eight channels. Now, you use one of those for a storage bus. Then on the other side you have eight more channels. Now you use. Okay, yeah, I I understand that, Regulus. We got that from the Cuplex world. Midnight says I agree with Blackjack. Blackjack says no, really, as he isn't gaining anything from them and doesn't understand how they are working. Better to teach actually perform. Wait, better to teach subnext when you can actually perform something better with them. X, you did the priorities a bit wrong. You set priorities on the storage bus connected to the interface, not on the drawer. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I see. Uh, that's kind of annoying. So, I, so if you're... That's, that's annoying, because then the subnetwork prioritizes things. So I can't have one thing on another subnet. If I've got two things on one subnetwork... And then another thing on a different one, I can't set the priority for the one on its own to be between the other two. So those subnet like priorities on subnetworks are going to probably not work the way I want by the sounds of it. That's kind of annoying. Is that it? Is that the one? I think that's the one. Then we want with those. Safe Cactus says, Cuplex can finally breathe a sigh of relief for that message being read. Well, maybe a sigh of relief, but like, that's not really helpful, is it? Because I can't, if I, if I split it up like I was going to, so I've got this thing over here, that thing over there, like, if I have two storage systems in one subnetwork and the priority needs to be between the others. So I I'm going to have to like now arrange them through the subnetworks. Which means that the wire layout might just be a bit chaotic. Like even though I've got some stuff hooked up over here it's going to have to come from a different subnetwork over to the same space. I don't know. It's going to be a, a pain in the bum. That is why you shouldn't bother with subnetworks, and now instead of just a big network, that way you can set priorities as you want. Subnetworks are useful if you have something like a mob farm with import items to store in one subnetwork without going to another storage, says Blackjack. Yeah, I kind of understand that, but uh, you know, you also got, got to just do this stuff to figure it out sometimes. Formation and annihilation. But I can kind of, I can kind of see it a little better now. Okay, so... Oh. Wait. 
Oh no, I need that. I was going to say, why am I making all... And I need another one of them. Oh, you are killing me with this. You are killing me. You are absolutely killing me with it. Dang it, get in there. <laughs> Trooper Joe, the one, the only. Thank you for 29 months, my dude. Appreciate it. Thank you ever so much. Um, I am deep in... I'm deep in the modded. What can I say? <laughs> my brain is dead at this point. I'm just like, let's get this thing done already. So... It was that... Now we need a crafting bench of all things. Okay, do, I, do can it just be can it just be the, the thing? It can be the thing. Thank right, okay. That took way too long. Right, this next bit will not take anywhere near as long. Check this out. Check me out. Check me out, y'all. Alright. I wanna keep that. And this. And we probably need to go do that. Oh, I thought this would be it. We need to go do that storage bus now, right? So we'll see if this works. If there's any redstone and gold that goes in there, then I miss something. So apparently this is what needs to be set to a higher priority. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So I'm going to put in gold and redstone first. And then everything else can follow it in. Or not. Okay. Why why is that slow to click in? That is the most annoying thing ever. Oh my god. Cuplex. What are you doing to me? What's happening? Tell me. That is so annoying. I can't even tell you how annoying that is. Why can't I click it in? Ah. Oh. Oh my god. You are on a sub network that doesn't have access to the big chest. Oh God, I'm getting rid of the sub network. That's what I'm doing. Oh, it is it is doing the off right now. It is doing the off. So if I want to have little terminals everywhere, I need like a terminal network. This is this is awful. <laughs> Why did we not do the other one? Oh, that is such a pain in the bum to work with. Because then then I need all like I need another network of these things just for terminals. Terminals don't use channels. I don't even know if I was using a channel. Right. Cool. So why did it let me... Didn't it let me shift-click some stuff in? Maybe... Maybe I was misunderstanding. Right. Uh, okay. Now we get to have a bit more fun. That being said, there is some stuff here that needs to be held on to. Like, let's put that in the hotbar. Okay, so now... I just do this. Do it again. All goes in. I do need to keep an eye out. Is any of this important? I don't think so. In you get. In you get. In you get. Sweet. It's going to make life easy, my friends. That, that stuff can go away as well. Okay. Even this over here. Oh, X, what have you done? What have I done? I'm just cleaning up house. Now it's all in there. Dang! Oh, there's more of it, is there? How good is that? Although it's a bit annoying that it shot out the back here. I've got to come around and grab it all. Okay, let's uh, let's grab some of this. Oh, there's mine bells. Gonna get rid of those two. Let's 
try again. And just stand here and whack it all in there. This is what it is. This is what we were aiming for, just to get everything in one system. And all the items are in here now. And there's still more! <laughs> Very nice. If we do, uh, if we do keep the subnet, what we might do is have like these interfaces sort of come down from above. So like maybe we have another ca cable network above, and then just have them pop down wherever we need them. Dang, dang! Still a bit more to do, right? And some of these utility blocks will need to be moved about. But now, everything in one giant place. Uh, oh, oh, gosh. Glad I checked. Glad I checked. Oh, golly gosh. Oh, I'm so British. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Right. All of that's in there. Yeah, obviously I can pick up a few more things and chuck them in. Like these machines. I guess when we need to use them again, like I'll be just picking them up and using them in that area. So, uh, I guess all of this deserves to go. As for the compacting drawer, it's full of a ton of stuff. The tool forge, you know, I can just search it. It's in here. And that's kind of it. That's kind of it. Yeah, I could could maybe pick up a few more blocks, but we'll leave it, leave it like that. So now, when we're working in this area and we need to go refer to something, it's it's here. We just click on the terminal and it's all there. We can sort alphabetically by the amount of items we got, etc, etc. In here, we shouldn't see any of the stuff for the draw system, because it goes there on priority. And we have that much storage. <laughs> now, this is a 7, and the maximum you can make in this mod is 20. I wasn't quite sure when I read that number what it meant, like 20 blocks. And then I figured it's probably 20 by 20, which is redonkulous. But yeah, we got 7, and like... Yeah. Now, we, we're going to hook up the other storage things to it as well next time to make it all make sense. Um, this one right here I'm probably going to put on a super low priority so that it just kind of, it's for us to pull stuff out rather than put things in. And then this will just build up with items all the time. But then all of this will become searchable. Like, what on earth is that thing? I can search it if ever I wanted to know. I could type in wand and find out what wands we have. Now, what do we do? What is tradition? Every... I need some cobble. And that is the way to do it. Open this chest. No, I'm not going to look in the terminal. I'm going to search through manually. Oh god, I accidentally took things out. No, don't want to do that. What is tradition, peeps? Oh god, those googly eyes. They are, they are problematic, aren't they? Not sure if this is uh, gonna look quite the way. Oh, that might that might work actually. Now let's get rid of the shield and hold the magic pick as well. Press F1. Oh, oh, we got a thumbnail right there. A juicy thumbnail. It's perfect. I love it. Juicy, juicy thumbnail for the clickbait. You got to click on that when you see it on the second channel. I mean, that's a giant diamond chest. How could you not click? Yeah, juicy from now. Right, peeps, as you might have guessed, that's going to be the end of the stream today. We had to get that done today. It just had to all get done, you know. So a massive thank you to everyone for subscribing. Be sure to hit that follow button before you head out of here. And I am just now trying to set up a riggedy raid. Who are we going to raid today? Let's go raid uh, Bruno Dan. Let's send you over there. It looks like he's playing vanilla Minecraft. I thought Bruno was a bedrock player. Um, so there goes the raid, right? So you know what to do. Thank you to everyone who subscribed, resubscribed, donated and cheered. Thank you to all the Patreons and to all the people gifting subs. Y'all are appreciated. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.